David Atkins, target individual. I'm back with another video, and this is a very important subject. I've been praying about it all day. God, give me something. Give me something to tell these people what you want me to tell them. Because, I mean, I got a lot of research, and we got a lot of good stuff coming up. Like, I'm fixing to start a series on movie stars and um, singers who are targeted. I'm not going to go on all singers, and, you know, I'm going to go, I might go Tupac, Anna Nicole Schmidt, and just go and explain. You know, I'm going to have to do, you know, I take notes. My research is real. I, I spend, that's what I do research, you know. And, um, but anyway, so yeah, I'm going to do a series on different movie stars and, um, uh, singers who are targeted. And, you know, it's going to be a very thorough, I'm going to do them one at a time. I might do a movie star here and then jump over next time and, do a bunch of information videos, then do a movie star there and insert it like that. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, I hope everybody had a happy New Year's, and I'm fixing to start with something very important. Okay, when I when my gang started stalking, when my gang started my gang stalking started, they started heavy on me, and I was homeless at the time because my wife had set me up to be, you know, murdered and all that, and uh, I escaped and left. So I was homeless. I chose homelessness. And um, I would be walking the streets and everybody would glance at me and start making calls, glance at me, start texting. Um, I'd get followed around. Everybody, I mean, I'm getting stalked heavy. And I didn't know what it was at that time. So I thought, how the hell are they? And this is back in 2014, for God's sake. I mean, I ain't never heard of this program until um, 2018 is when I really realized what this that this stuff, because, you know, I didn't know what to think. I was dumbfounded, but listen, I'm, I'm getting to the key point, because this is important for new targets. Do not freak out to the point that their smear campaigns and their stalking makes you turn into the person that they're trying to smear. I, I, I need to put that a different way. Okay, so, you, so when you when they stalking you heavy, they'll run smear campaigns on you to make you look like a bad person, even though you're a very good person. Okay, so this is what they were doing on me. In 2018, I went to this shelter or whatever in, in Alabama, and I'm not going to name the name of it because uh, I don't think they had anything to do with it, but the people that were in there did, and I overheard a conversation of, hey, we're going to get him tonight when he goes to bed. And, uh, you know, and we'll be done with him. I overheard it because you got a long hall here and a long arm there. And there's rooms everywhere. I was walking down the hall and overheard some one of my names being mentioned. And one, I mean, my name being mentioned and boom. So anyway, I, long story short, I ended up homeless again in 2018. I left that shelter because they were fixing to do me in. But anyway, um, so when then I start getting perked. People say, oh, you can come stay with me. You can come stay with me. But it was every time it was a setup. And I would be so hot. And this gang stalking made me so hateful towards people. I mean, I would go to churches who were giving out food. And it was it was in the homeless handbook. This happened in Pensacola. Churches in Pensacola, this is in a homeless handbook. Go to these churches, get food. At this time, I would walk up to them. Hey, I'm, I'm here to get some food, please, y'all. God bless y'all. Appreciate it. Oh, uh, we don't give food out at this church. I would leave, walk down the road a little bit, hide behind the bushes with my friend on FaceTime on Messenger and, and prove to her. And Lynette Castle, rest in peace, she's dead. She got murdered. But, um, yeah, uh, I, I, yeah, I would hide in the bushes with her on FaceTime and show. After about 15 minutes when they thought I was gone, Everybody would start, they would start letting people in. But while I was around, they would turn them away. But when I left, the people would start coming back and getting food. The same. So you know what I'm saying? I'm freaking out because I'm like, I know I'm a good dude. Why do all these people hate me and going off people's word? So, you know, I ain't gonna lie. I started lashing out. Like, you know, because and it, it, it wasn't, you know, I would lash out. You know, I would steal from you or do whatever I had to do because you know what I felt like well the whole world's in on it anyway so you know what I'm getting mine 
but oh and i was down but i, I would have turned out a dangerous person but but I would I would have turned out a dangerous person because my resentment was building and building and building and building and building, and they almost had me to that point where you know I just went in public and went crazy. That's how bad it was because I felt like I'm a good dude, and these people looking at me like I'm a piece of crap, and I just didn't understand what was going on at all. And um, you know I knew I was targeted, but I didn't. You know I'm like wow. They have to be telling somebody something to make them hate me. So why are all these people just going off these people's words? You know, um, I didn't. There wasn't much knowledge in me about mind control and all that back then, as much as there is today. And you know, uh, and numerous things I did to lash out at them made me look like a horrible person. When all it was was survival mode, and it was what they were pushing me to do to make their agenda work you see and that's the stuff they do they'll use tricks they'll use smear campaigns and then gang stalk you so bad and have everybody looking at you in a certain way and following you and treating you bad everywhere in the community that you build resentments and you start acting out on that i mean you know you got active shooters out here you know i'll never be an active shooter and, but I'm just my, I'm just, this is a quick message because I got some deep stuff I got to study. I, we got some good videos coming up this week. <clears throat> but anyway, I just need to get this message out to you, new TIs. Do not freak out and make them, don't walk around with hate. Walk around with love. And I'm not saying somebody comes to attack you or do something to you and you feel like, hey, <laughs> do what you got to do because I am. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying just go ahead and let them kill you or uh, well, uh, not. don't be no pushover, but do not walk around with a chip on your shoulder and start making decisions. Don't let them breed you into a monster. Don't let them do it. That's all I got to say. This is going to be a quick video. And, you know, it's but this is important. God put this on my heart because there are new targets getting out there every day. And some of them freak out and don't know what's going on. And I understand because I'm like, how all these people hate me. I got a beautiful heart and I know that. So I was like, all right, they want to hate me. I mean, I'm going to churches and getting turned down. I mean, I was shocked and I was getting more and more hateful. Like, all right. And then on top of that, you know, when they're trying to kill me and all that and kidnapping attempts and, oh man. So, you know, don't let them make you a monster because that's what they want. Then in the end, they can say, see, we're right. What we're telling y'all about them, we're right. So today I'm trying to walk in love. Um, however, that don't mean you got to be a pushover at all. You stand your ground when it's time. But don't walk around with that chip on your shoulder and that hate and stuff. Because I was there mean mugging everybody, didn't care. Um, you know, just ready to hurt somebody. And... And I was to the point, it freaked me out so bad that, you know, I, you know, I could have ended up hurting the wrong person. But anyway, so, uh, not talking about rape, none of that dumb stuff. I'm talking about gang stalkers in public messing with me and me snapping on them. Or, uh, you know, you following me around and all that. And then, uh, you park your car at the gas station. And I know you've been gang stalking me all night, so I take your car, drive it a couple states off because I'm freaked out so bad. I just need to get out of there. So, yeah, I'm not proud of nothing I've done in the past, but they're not going to let me make them. I'm a different person today and I react differently. I'm just telling you, they can make you that stressed out to do that kind of stuff. So do not do it. God bless y'all. Y'all know my videos are better than this, but God put this on my heart to cover this subject. This is the best way I could explain it. They had me so freaked out by this gang stalking. And then on top of that, the direct energy weapon hits and all that. You know, that's not even and the B2K going on at the same time, but don't make don't let them make you a monster because then, then they can say, Oh, we're right. Look, 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 look. That's even you're just making confirmation in whoever they've smeared your name to's name that hey. <laughs> so anyway, that's from my new TIs and TIs going through this where you go outside your house and you see 
uh, and you can follow it everywhere. And every restaurant you go into, they know about it and everything. And this is possible. And I don't care what people say because I know it is. I've experienced it firsthand. You're not crazy. Um, I think it's mind controlled. And on top of that, they got community uh, policing apps. Um, one of them was Neighbor in a B R. Somebody told me about. It. I don't know if it's being used because I don't tell people unless I know 100% active. But you can research it. You know, I researched it the other day a little bit, but you cannot join the app unless the community lets you join. <laughs> so I couldn't go covertly in the neighbor and, you know, start seeing what was going on because it uh, strictly says unless the community lets you in, you cannot join. So, you know, if y'all want to help me research that, y'all can because, you know, I'm researching a lot of stuff right now. But there's some good videos coming up. God bless every targeted individual and everybody who ain't a targeted individual um, who sees through this you know 